Oh, it slides it out of space for the slide into. Let's see if it works. Right now, it's not looking like it's gonna work, buddy. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, you know. This is too short. Oh, I see what you're saying there. See where? All right, I got this at the edge. And that on. Uh, All right, so let me move this side to the edge. I see what you're saying. I see, see where, it. Yeah, see yeah, yeah. Sitting. So I guess we just gotta throw on this one for now. Yeah. So you're gonna have to figure it out. Meeting a bus, me have a bus, yeah, a couple bus, some rass bus, yeah, meeting a bus, me have a bus, yeah, a couple bus, some rass bus. Turn on the live, come live, yes sir. Me at the five, yeah, the five, yes sir. We outside, outside. All right, so continuing from the previous video, I had the diffuser, and I basically took off the third, the brake light or third light. Now, this is from my factory diffuser. Now, oh yeah, the diffuser. I'm trying to figure out if I should just trim it to put this in, or set it up so I can mold this into this. Now what I'm thinking, if I just cut it out and put this on here, these parts are going to stick out and it's not going to look too right. So I have to use it like this. So when this sits flush here, that's going to be recessed in to sit on this line. And then the rest of it is going to be flush with the regular bumper, right? I mean, regular diffuser right here. A few things that's going to be an issue. You can pre that this line right here in this dip, but you know, I'm not even gonna worry about it. We're gonna figure it out because even if I cut it and I have a space, we'll figure it out. I just wanna mold this in and then everything else will come into play. Then I gotta avoid trying to cut these tabs because these are where it screws in at. So, pick a dilemma, but we're gonna figure it out. But sitting here holding it and not getting it done, it won't get nowhere. So, Let's get started. Alright, so find the best way to mount up this camera so you guys can watch and see everything. Thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna trim it. I have a line in here, but we're just gonna trim it small. We're not gonna make it as big, so at least if we do make a mistake, I got material to still work with. All right, I don't got no power tools, so I'm basically gonna be using the razor. And let's put a hand saw. Slowly get it on and work it out. So, all right. So, I'm gonna be using this little hand saw right here, utility knife. You basically, start cutting this and going around. I also have um, some other supplies here that I'm in my bag of trips. So, I'm gonna be you know, welding some plastic. So, I got the plastic welder from Harbor Freight. Solder and iron, but you now I'm um, be using it for what it's not supposed to be used for. But I'm gonna make it work. And then we have the epoxy for later on when I'm molding everything together to hold it. Stuff like that. But yep, yeah, let me get started. So I can do some. Let me see the little line I got in here. You can see it a little bit, not much, but I'm gonna start cutting and trimming like inside smooth. I mean, less in here somewhere, so that way when I put this down, I can figure it out. Instead of trim it all one time, then I, you know, 
how they say you measure twice and cut once so i rather do it small and if i need more to cut out then i can cut out more because i can't cut out more than put back the material so here we go wish me luck i'm gonna put the camera up the best way i can i'm thinking i'm probably gonna have to switch this out to like a headpiece and do this so y'all hold on i'll get back to you guys all right so you can measure at no point C because I have made marks around there. I'm gonna follow this mark that I made here from before. So, I don't know where I could try if you do. So, we need to start some kind of hole around here. So, get the hole in at that. A hole right there so now we just need to get the saw in there which is the easy part I hope just need to get the blade oh man dropping everything that's melting and burning and doing its thing So, can't even get the saw in here to do anything. I need to make a hole a little bit bigger. So we doing this right here I'm about to put the video up on pause go cut this up real quick and then come back all right so we got this piece out let's try to see how this looks like this just a little mock-up This is not what we're gonna put in there, so hold that. Let's see. So 
So that's cut out pretty good. Let me see something. Let's put this together. All right, so I got the plastic welding kit. The plastic welding kit from Harbor Freight. And I'm gonna act like I'm welding, like regular welding. I got this position where I need it to be. I don't got nothing to clamp it down to hold it. So there's a little, in this part here, there's a little hole. I'm gonna put some plastic in there to hold, hotten that up and hold it there. And then just slowly go around like how you do in regular welding and just hold these spots. Hold the, hold this corner, hold this corner, hold this. You know, hold little taps. And then once I think it's holding, then I can slowly eventually go around, I guess, put more around this way, then flip it on the other side and then that's where I can put a whole heap of plastic and I don't really care how it looks because nobody's going to see that side. And then I can probably later on just use epoxy or some kind of resin to fill in the, like, say, a, say a plastic filler, fill in the extra holes on the sides and stuff like that. And so, so see all these extra spaces here going around, I can put like the filler to fill that up but yeah I think I'm doing a good job so far just to make sure this sticks on what yo progress should continue to pull it off, I wouldn't aim for pulling it off. All right, let me put this down. All right, so I'm gonna continue with the plastic welding back here, connect these pieces. Wish I had better lighting to show you guys what's going on. Connect it up, connect it, connect it. What them fool that all we go, finding them poor, all of them. Titans are gonna beat them, like this strike on kill them. Mighting them charge up, mighting them charge up. attached plastic world all around not the cleanest job it's done so I'm just gonna need some cleaning up on the edges here Inside, you could probably see the plastic welding better on the inside though. See there. Oh. So okay, nice now. Alright, 
that so because i just probably some plastic filler or bond or something to help fill these in and smooth these out then we set all of that down next step would be going to carbon fiber and lay that on there put the resin and move on or if i just do this smooth enough with the say bond or plastic filler tape this off and just spray this black matte black and then put it on the car as is if i want to do the whole carbon fiber thing but we'll see this is where i reached so far Meeting a bus, me have a bus, yeah, a couple bus, some rass bus, yeah, meeting a bus, me have a bus, yeah, a couple bus, some rass bus. Turn on the life, come alive, yes sir. Me have the vibe, yeah, the vibe, yes sir. We outside, outside. Titan up the whole place, nice coming. Buzz it, buzz it, y'all hear this is and I pussy get wet, come and buzz it. Buzz it, people are watch y'all listen on the blind and deaf. No, they buzz it, buzz it. They must be paying me attention, just and check. Come me buzz it, buzz it, buzz it, buzz it. Me up the sauce on the back. If they must run both, me up run yeah. Girl want tight and kind hot. That means she will take both. They must be paying me respect plus tax. Talk is cheap, only money for your chat. Listen now, I've got blue, our first class, everything has...